I'm Walter Dyer, and I teach the um, Modern Missile Analysis course for Applied Technology, Technology Institute. And uh, the Modern Missile Analysis course is one that's, uh, that's designed for people with a technical background. It needn't be a strong technical background, because what we try to do is to cover all the subsystems of a missile in enough detail that everyone can learn something about his um, areas outside this particular area of expertise. And so I'm going to present a few charts from that course. Uh, to begin with, um, what we do is derive in one section of the course some missile guidance laws. This particular one is called Augmented Proportional Navigation and uh, it has a form that looks like this. We command missile acceleration proportional to the, the uh, closing velocity of the missile on the target times the line of sight turning rate plus half the estimated target acceleration. And what we then do is we compare this with a simpler guidance law called proportional navigation in, the chart, uh, in this particular chart against a target that's coming in at a constant, uh, with, a, with a velocity of 2 kilometers per second, starting at an altitude of 30 kilometers, and making a 9G acceleration turn. And so we see that with uh, this proportional navigation guidance law, that uh, we get some missed distances of uh, 6 kilometers with a particular value of, uh, of the navigation ratio that I showed on the previous page. Uh, we get some small missed distances with larger values, and then for a rather large value, we get a 14-meter missed distance. With the guidance law augmented proportional navigation that I showed on the previous page, the missed distances are reduced uh, to about half what they were before. But this is under the assumption that we have perfect target acceleration, which we seldom have. Uh, I show on this chart the line of sight turning rate for the various values of this uh, effective navigation ratio. With uh, lambda equals 1, uh, the line of sight turning rate becomes large quickly. With the successively larger values of proportional navigation, the line, the, uh, missed is, the line of sight turning rate is uh, reduced more quickly. We also see the effects of noise in the large value of the uh, navigation ratio for proportional navigation. And the acceleration uh, for those particular, for that target uh, shown on the previous page, we see that for uh, lambda equals one, that we start off with a commanding too little acceleration. Later on in the, in the flight, we hit a limit. This is a 25G acceleration limit. The target, uh, the, the missile can no longer accelerate to the level it needs to to hit the target. That's why we got the miss. And as we go up in effective navigation ratio, we no longer have that problem. And however, when we get to the large value, lambda equals 30, we have a saturation early on and a following of the noise in this system. And in fact, a, a rather a, an instability occurring at the end. So this is why we missed with this particular uh, uh, navigation ratio. Now with the augmented proportional navigation, we see that the uh, that we have a little different uh, situation. To begin with for lambda equals 1, the, uh, the line of sight turning rate becomes large quick, more quickly. For 2, we have a straight line line of sight uh, turning rate that uh, goes to 0 or near 0 at the end of the, uh, at the end of the engagement. As we increase navigation ratio further, this line of sight turning rate converges to 0 more quickly. And again, with lambda equals 30, the high value we find the uh, instability that we saw before. The acceleration, uh, what we see here is that for the small value of uh, navigation ratio, we saturate, not, not however, we don't saturate as soon, but we still have a miss because of this late uh, autopilot inability to achieve the required acceleration. And as we go on, uh, increasing the value of the uh, effective navigation ratio, we get a uh, more and more acceleration uh, is uh, called for early so that we need less later on and we're able to hit the target better than we did when we didn't use the target uh, acceleration estimates as we do over here. 
Once again, we see that with the, uh, with the high value lambda equals 30, we do saturate the autopilot early, but later and later on we have this instability, which also can lead to a miss. Well, the fact is we cannot, we cannot perfectly estimate target acceleration. Uh, in fact, the target acceleration estimate might look something like this. This is our 9G target acceleration that we saw on the earlier chart. The estimate early on is likely to be very bad because of a low signal-to-noise ratio uh, in the missile seeker. And as we go on and the signal-to-noise ratio increases, we may, in fact, get a better estimate of target acceleration. It could look something like this. And at the end, you might have a, a much smaller error, but there's still an error. So now we're going to see what, these, what this error does to our augmented proportional navigation. Uh, this is the same chart that we saw previously of minimum proportional navigation, you can see that the missile uh, takes off with, with a, a certain heading error, and as it approaches the target, then it uh, accelerates in a curve like this. And these, these increases in the slope are from the fact that we're estimating, in this case, perfectly the target acceleration. Down here, what I'm showing is a more realistic case with the bad estimates, or poor estimates of target acceleration we saw on the previous chart. And you see that the actual bending of the, of, the, of the trajectories is a little more pronounced. In fact, it's so much that they had to bend back in the other direction to actually, to actually intercept the target. We also see that the missed distances are all larger than they were in the case where we perfectly estimated the target. We went from 3.2 to 3.6 with lambda equals 1. For lambda equals 3, we find that the missed distance actually, uh, which was negligibly small here, now uh, was 2.5 meters and uh, 13 meters as opposed to 9 down here with lambda equals 30. If we look at the, the uh, line of sight turning rate and accelerations required, these are the two charts that we had on the previous chart, on the previous uh, uh, two pages with uh, perfect target acceleration uh, estimate. Down here is what happened with the poor estimates. And what we see is that essentially that the line of sight turning rate, which was a nice straight line here, now, now starts off rather uh, low and goes right through zero and up to a high value. And that's why we got the miss with the lambda equals 3. Maybe it can be seen better from the acceleration curve over here, where we have, uh, where we're showing that the uh, with lambda equals one again, we call for too little acceleration early, and we have we're trying to achieve acceleration late, which is just impossible, so we get a missed distance. Uh, for lambda equals three and four, um, we call for more and more acceleration early, so we need less acceleration late. But for lambda equals three, the error in the target acceleration caused us to overshoot, and we never quite got back to the target, so we couldn't. Uh, we couldn't hit it for that reason. Uh, the other cases, uh, lambda equals 4 and 7, we turned out that uh, we called for acceleration early and didn't need so much late, so we achieved a, an intercept. And finally, for lambda equals 30, we get this very pronounced instability, which uh, leads to a missed distance.